the off ladies and gentlemen it's the girls on the 18 girls 1600 sprint medley relay they are for the first 400 meters and on the far side we have the Virchals High School taking the early lead here followed on the inside by the Bastia High School and the Jijinja and followed there by the Lions from the Charlestown Secondary School Now coming down the straightaway for the first handoff for the first leg which was a 400 meters the virtual high school looking very strong with this one the virtual high school and it's a Charles by coincidence and she hands off now to Hendrix at the virtual high school here comes the Charlestown secondary lions uh, hand off there to Jones uh, Jones with it for the Charlestown secondary school followed there in the middle of the chat there by the Basta High School. They're now going to cut in on the inside of the trap. Here comes the virtual High. This is for the 200 meters. 200 meters, we are going to have a handoff just about now. The virtual High School way out front. Hand off to the virtual High School. They're coming away for the second 200 meters. It's now with Gums. Followed there by the Charlestown Secondary School Lions. Bailey with it. Uh, coming around trying to make up some ground here having a lot of ground to make up in fact they're coming down the straight away for the first the second hand off for the second hand off the virtual high school working very hard coming through there for the third and final hand off daily takes it uh, for the virtual high school daily daily is going away from the rest of the field followed there now by the Charlestown Secondary School in Wilkes. Uh, Wilkes with it, the Bastia High School as well, trying to do something about that. The Stormers, they're with Phipps. So Phipps is trying to cut that lead down, uh, trailing there very closely behind Daly. But out front, we have the Virtuals High School. It's going to be the 800 meters now. And she's away with this one. It's going to take some time. She's looking rather strong, striding away, just floating now. Followed there by the Bastia High School, the Charlestown Secondary School. We see the Gingerland High Secondary School as well. Followed there by the Charlie Mills Secondary School. And coming down the straightaway for the penultimate time. We have the Virtual High School. The Virtual High School in Daly. Daily with it for the Virtuals High School. Having another lap to go. Here comes the, the Bastia High School Stormers. Phipps. Phipps with it for the Bastia High School. Trying to cut that lead down. Phipps working hard. Uh, trying to cut some ground there with the Virtuals High School. Here is the Charles Zone Secondary and the Gingerland High School. Followed there by the Charles A. Mills Secondary School. But it's the Bastia High School still working. Down the back stretch they go for the final time. It's the Virtuals High School. Virtuals High School with it. Daily with it. Daily still working hard. Here comes the, the Bastia High School putting in a challenge now. Coming up for the final 200 meters or so. The Bastia High School looking strong. Followed there by the Virtuals High School. And here comes the Bastia High School in fifth. Phipps with it, Gianna Phipps, Phipps with it, Phipps with it on the 200 meters to go, it's still Phipps looking strong, bringing this one home with just 125 meters to go, we are still with Phipps of the Bastia High School Stormers, coming around the curve now, looking down the straightaway, trying to move away from the field, she looks up, she sees the finish line, here comes Phipps now, striding away to the finish line, trying to drive a little more, just about some 60 meters to go, we are with Phipps of the Bastia High School, Looking for their third gold medal. Could it be this afternoon here? Comes Rips and the Stormers takes the goal. A tremendous win there by the Bastia High School. The under 18 girls. Sprint medley. They are 1600 sprint medley. The Virtual High School coming through there for the silver medal. And we have the Charlestown Secondary Lions uh, just getting across the finish line. Oh, that was a very good run there, Mr. Mills. Well, certainly indeed. The fifth day for the Bastia High School with the last 
800 meters, she was outstanding and she went in her reserve tank. And could you imagine going into her reserve tank? She, she had just enough to pull it off, Sylvester. But then, guys, that is what we refer to as a creep up because it seems as if um, Birchard High School had it down pat. But then Bastia came from behind and won in fine style. This time, ladies and gentlemen, it's a fair start. It's the first leg of the 1600 middle distance medley for the under 18 boys. And uh, look at them pick up down there. It looks as though Sam is already uh, moving away from the rest of the field, uh, followed by Sadler's on his right side. Uh, he has on the inside the Charleston Secondary Lions and the Washington Archibald Wildcats, followed there by Ver Charles. Uh, this is the contest at the top. We have the Sadler Secondary School, the Wolfpack, with it on the inside in lane uh, six, coming down the straightaway on his right side. He has Sims with him, uh, but it's going to be the Wolfpack with it moving away from the rest of the field. It's the Wolfpack in Jack One. He's going to and making the first handoff. The wolf pack Jack one gives it to Thomas. Uh, Thomas is off with a flying start there for this 200 meters leg. Uh, followed by Sims on the outside. Uh, here comes Sims on the outside. The Eagles are soaring there. Hodge with it on the outside now overtaking uh, the man there. Uh, Hodge with it now for Sims. Uh, speeding down for the second handoff. It's going to be Hodge. Hodge with it with handover to Mason. Mason now takes it and caps around for the second 200 meters. Here comes Mason, really scurrying around the curve, coming on the straighter for the second 200. He's looking for the third and final handoff, coming up the straightaway. He's going to come up and give it to Huggins, who's going to give us the 800 meters leg. He's working tremendously hard, handoff to Sam's here. Now is the 800 meters leg, the final leg of this race. It's Sam and Sadler's uh, Virchiles, followed there by the Charlestown Secondary School, the Washington Archibald Wildcat. Uh, they are going around the curve now. We have Huggins uh, with the final leg here, 800 meters leg, and he's just cruising down the back stretch. You can see he has quite a lot in him, their mills. He's just easing down, easing around, just striding now, not really driving. He has another 600 meters or so. He's coming around quite effortlessly, coming around the curve, looking easy there on this Kim Collins track. Here is Sam's with it, looking for the fourth gold medal. Could, could it be the fourth gold medal for the Charles E. Mills Secondary School? Well, coming down. Well, it still have over 400 meters to go. Can he really bring it home? Well, but he's, run, he's running as if you're taking a, 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 a cruise to the island on a Sunday afternoon, guys. I'm wondering whether or not he have enough in his reserve tank with over 300 meters to go. Something look... Um, well, um, he's running at one pace, so we'll wait and see. As he goes out the back track, it is Sems leading. Let's see what the rest of the pack is doing. And with about 250 meters to go, it is still Sem leading the fray. The others are trying to catch, but whether or not they are starting too late, we will find out in a short while. But he comes around with just under 200 meters to go. He's extending, gentlemen. He, somewhat he's putting on a might little more than what he has been doing. But he's not being challenged at all. No doubt he's telling himself, I have it done packed. But he come down now. We just on the hundred. And down the straightaway, just about 50 meters, Mr. Wilcher is going to be Sam's once more. Huggins just easing away, just gliding to the finish line effortlessly. An 800 ran so easily by Huggins of the Charles Emil. Well, 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 Sylvester, you wondering whether or not his pace was good enough, but it was more than. Good enough, Sylvester. Yes, he was very cool, very organized. I believe it's the preparation for from the weeks ahead, Sylvester. But then um, he was not being challenged in any way. That is um, the, the, the 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 thing that we saw that the others were not challenging at any time. Well, Mr. Wilcher, it, it will boil down to good preparation. Perhaps he been prepared, so he know what pace. 
to take for 800 and, meters and pull ups around the track. Probably he knew his competitors well. But they're still coming home, ladies and gentlemen. It is Keon in the seller position. As we see the end of this race, the under 18 middle distance sprint. Sems now with one other goal unofficially. They will now move to four with Bastia High trailing three. Those are the top ones, ladies and gentlemen. So there you had it, the completion of the under 18 boys, 1600 meters middle distance medley. Wolfback with it, uh, looking quite strong. Coming to for the third and final handoff, the final leg is an 800 meters leg, uh, and here comes the Virchals, uh, second of Virchals High School, uh, just nibbling away at it. You have the Charlie Mill Secondary School, but it's the Wolfpack out front, Wolfpack out front there with Marshall, Marshall with it going down the back stretch. Uh, all the athletes now on the inside lane. Look at some movement here in the second position. Looking quite strong, the second position there. Hodge now getting into second position for the Charles A. Mill Secondary School. Going past the Virtual High School in Bonilla. It looks as though now it's still the Wolfpack, but it's a long way to go, a very long way to go. About 500 meters remaining. Coming around the curve now, down the straightaway, still with the, the wolf pack in Marshall. It's come to, well, it's Mitchell, is the correction here. Mitchell with it for the wolf pack of the, uh, the Sadler Secondary School. She's been trailed by the Charles A. Mill Secondary School. Easing off slightly. Still another lap to go. This is the final leg, 800 meters leg, two laps of the track. This is the final leg. Here comes Sems now, easing forward, easing forward, easily forward. And followed there by the Birchard High School, the Gingerland Secondary School, the Charlestown Secondary School, the Bastia High School, and the Washy Wildcats. Here's some movement up top now. Sems taking over. Hodge now in the lead with 300 meters to go. Hodge with it striding away from the west of the field. The Wolf back. Falling into second place, that's Mitchell. Down the back stretch for the final time. Hodge now easing away from the rest of the field. Opening a sizable lead here between herself and the rest of the competitors. Coming up to the 200 meters bar. Is still with Charles e. Mills Secondary School. Here comes Sems with it now. Still trying to work hard. Hodge, 
hodge with it cutting into this uh, 200 meters just about 180 meters remaining is the charles e mill secondary school now in the lead coming around the curve quite easily easily does it uh, where is the charlestown second well charles e mill secondary school come on put your hands together for charles coming away with it now looking for their fifth goal here this afternoon Hodge uh, putting ahead in there driving to the finish driving to the finish here comes Charles e. Mills and takes another goal here in the medley 1600 medley a uh, middle distance medley here comes the wolf pack the wolf pack with it coming through with Mitchell she will get the silver medal for her team and the Gingerland Secondary School Panthers will come to as well. That's Welkin and pick off the bronze medal for the Gingerland Secondary School. So, uh, Okay, so um, bring them home. Bring them home, ladies and gentlemen. Still coming, Washington Archibald. It is to finish the race, not just starting, but to finish. And she's finishing. But as the saying goes, the race is not for the swift, but who can endure it to the end? Because it seemed like Saddlers had that race down pat. But Sims had other ideas. It's as if um, they strategized well. And as a result, they reaped the harvest. And the harvest was to get the fifth goal this afternoon. But Mills, we still can't say anything yet because it's still early days. And the off, ladies and gentlemen, it's a fair start. Fair start to the under 16 boys. 1600 middle distance medley. The Saddlers with a brave move down on that far side is the 400 meters leg, the first 400 meters leg. Moving away from the rest of the field, being trailed there by the Charles E. Mills Secondary School. The Wolf Pack moving out with, with Berridge. Berridge in the lead on the far side. And cutting on, the, on, on that lead, you have the Eagles. Uh, with Gerald, Gerald on the inside, but still uh, with Sadler's uh, a brave little run there. But they're closing down now. Gerald, here comes Sam's uh, on the inside there in lane seven, uh, coming through for the first handoff. It looks as though it's going to be uh, Sam's uh, first handoff. Now we're down to the 200 meters for the second leg, uh, followed there by the virtual uh, high school. Uh, Virtuals High School looking at Sims on the outside in lane eight. Uh, well, lane seven cutting on the inside now. It's still with Sims trying to really work tremendously hard. Been trailed there by the Virtuals High School. Virtuals High School with the second hand off. But it's Sims moving away from the field. This is the second 200 meters leg. It's coming up now for the third and final handoff. They're really battling that one out. Coming down the straightaway. We see the virtual high school. This one is not over yet. It's going to be Sam's with the third and final handoff. We come up now to the 800 meters leg. Two laps around the track, gentlemen. A third handoff to the Gingerland Secondary School, the Washi Wildcats, uh, Charleston Secondary School, the Bastia High School. Let us see what is going to happen here now for the 800 meters. And we see things quiet it down a bit. And it's with Sims, uh, Charles E. Mill Secondary School Eagles, just pacing himself now, striding easily. Just about some 600 meters to go. We are with Charles E. Mill Secondary, easing away from the rest of the field quite comfortably, just working his arms and his legs. Uh, eagles now, he's really soaring like an eagle, coming around the curve quite easily. We are with the Charles E. Mill uh, Secondary School. We are with Webb, 
Webb of the Charles E. Mills Secondary School. This we see a bungle behind him, a lot like, of his friends. This looks like it could be a close one. Well, it is with Webb. Webb still floating now. He has the final lap to go. Webb with it. He's followed there by the Bastia High School, trying to put in a challenge here. The Bastia High School in Stapleton. Stapleton is coming around. He's trying to close that margin. But it's Webb up front, still soaring like an eagle. Soaring like an eagle, just, just chipping down the back stretch for the final time. It's Webb with it, easing, easing. And we see the stormers, the stormers. A little storm might be happening. Could a storm be happening? But it's coming up to the 200 meters mark with 200 meters to go. Here comes the eagle now. Webb is trying to put something together. He's moving away a little more briskly now, easily, almost effortlessly. Webb with it, coming around. But the storm is coming to. The storm is coming to. But Webb, looking up at the finish line now, a little grin on his face. Probably he's just smiling. Now he puts in the charge. He's driving. Webb is driving now. He knows. He has it under control. The Charles E. Mills secondary school takes another goal. Oh. Yes, well see, organized. Similar to um, the race before as Charles Selman and Washi coming home. But yeah. All ladies and gentlemen, we are off now. We have the under 14 girls, 1600 meters, middle distance medley. Uh, first leg is the 400. Uh, look at the Charles E. Mills Secondary School. Hodge with it for the Charles E. Mills Secondary School. On her outside, she has uh, the Charlestown Secondary School in brown. And this is for the first 400. Uh, coming around to Charles E. Mills already. Making up the stagger. Hodge making up the stagger there and brown of the Charlestown Secondary School. And they're coming around quite comfortably, looking for the first handoff after the first leg of the 400 meters. Hodge powering herself for that. That first handoff, she's coming through quite strong. Followed there on her outside, on her right side in lane six by the Charleston Secondary School in Brown. And the first handoff, Hodge now hands over to Joshua. And Joshua of the Charles e. Mills Secondary School, she takes off for this, the second leg, which is at 200 meters. She is followed there by Douglas of the Charlestown Secondary School. And we have the Virtuals High School now getting a chance in the Virtual High School, uh, moving down quite easily. She's in third position, followed by the Washington Archibald Wildcats in Abbott. Ah, oh, the second handoff there by the Charles E. Mills Secondary, Charles E. Mills Secondary School now. We have Samuels with it. She's galloping for the second 200 meters. Charles E. Mills now running away with this race quite easily. Coming down the straightaway, she's on the inside of the track. It's going to be the third handoff. What is going on here? Oh yes, for the third handoff, it's going to be Samuels handing over now to Moses. Moses now gets the baton. The third handoff is all Charles E. Mills Secondary School. Two laps of the track. The final leg is the 800 meters uh, leg. Here comes the Charles E. Secondary Lions for their third and final handoff. Underwood. Underwood takes it now for the Charles E. Secondary School. She's in second position. And the third position, the Virgil's High School. Williams will hand over to Walters. And now Walters gets it. And where she go? And the Washington Archibald Wildcats Francis now takes it. And she's on her way, takes it from Richardson. And now they're all on their way for the final lap of this, the under 14 girls, 1600 meters, middle distance, middle distance. Uh, 
I really. My good friend Mills, this look like another one on the charts here for the Charles E. Mills Secondary School. Well, here she goes. She just cools. Ooh, just easing around. He's just striding. No real pace as yet. But no then, real challenge gentlemen, either. Gentlemen, this is what we call a blowout. Almost. It's, it's a blowout. It looks like that. But here is uh, Charleston Secondary School in Underwood. She'll be, uh, probably have something to say about that. Here is Moses of the Charles E. Mills Secondary Eagles uh, going down the back stretch, sort of slowing up so considerably. Uh, uh, she has to be very careful, Charles E. Mills Secondary, but she's closing down just about 250 meters remaining here for the Charles E. Mills to get another gold medal here at the Giant Mall Championships, really championships at the Kim Collins Stadium. Coming up to the 200 meters mark, we have the Charles E. Mills Secondary Eagles. Moses with it. She's really falling back yeah. badly. Here's she Underwood for Charleston Secondary yeah, School. Yes, yes, Good open strides. Here. She's working hard. Yes, but it looks Working like and working. Working and working. Could she still be working? Let us see if she has Could any gas in that tank. Oh, let us see what's it, going to happen yes, here. Because, um, we are at comes. the Kim Collins Stadium. Is it going to be the Charles E. Mills Secondary School again? Is it going to be Charleston Secondary? Yes. What is going to happen here, ladies well, and gentlemen? Eat, and look at the eat. stride. It's going to be all yes, eaten it's up. All over. And on the wood. On takes the wood. over now. And Say drives to the finish line. On the wood of the Charleston Secondary School. Getting their first gold medal. Takes it now. And when it Charleston look, Secondary. When it looked like it, well they done. had it down pack. Um, Charleston Secondary ah. came sliding, gliding, and in fine style, Mr. Mill, she overtake with about 50 meters to go. Well, I'm telling you, with 400 meters to go, it means that she had to run well in order to take But that young lady there from um, Charleston, she, a lot of credit had to be given to her because she will all right ladies and gentlemen they're off for the final race of this series of 1600 meters is the under 14 boys 1600 meters middle distance medley relay out front Already we see the Stormers making a pace for the first leg, 400 meters, followed by the Sadler Secondary School, all on the outer lane. On the inside there, we see some movement. We see Sems on the inside. We see some movement by the Panthers, the Gingerland Panthers, uh, coming through quite strong in lane four. The Panthers looking good here for the first leg. Panthers, the Gingerland Secondary School Panther, the school of Mr. Wilcher, coming through now for the first handoff. Looking quite strong, lane four. Uh, the Panthers with it. First handoff. End of the 400 leg. Get down to the 200 meters leg. Here comes Sems with it now. Sems in lane five. Here they come around the Eagles trying to soar for this, the 200 meters. But it's the Panthers there. The Gingerland Secondary School Panthers trying to move up there with Clark. Clark putting some pace down that back stretch. Could this be their first gold medal? Yeah, it's the second leg. Nevertheless, it's going to be the Panthers with their second hand off. It's good. And the Panthers are gone. Followed there by the Charles E. Mills Secondary Eagles. And now they're setting a pace there. The Eagles with it. Now Eddie. Eddie for the Eagles. He is taking this one out. He's trailing Elliot. Elliot is coming around there for the Panthers. Elliot by following by Eddie. Eddie of the Eagles. Eagles now trying to catch up 
But here's Elliot still driving. Driving for the third and final handoff. Now the Gingerland secondary is in the 800 meter stream leg. Followed here by the Eagles. And the Charlestown secondary, Saddler secondary. We have the Washington Archibald Wildcats running into another runner. We have the Bastia High School. And now we have the Virtual High School handoff. So they're all in for this the 800 meters leg and out front we have the ginger land uh, secondary school panthers and they're trying to do something on that far side it looks as though it's burnt burton burton with it and they are closing up the hunting pack is coming you have the Charleston Secondary School. You have the Washington Archibald High Wildcats. You have the Charles A. Mills Eagle soaring. And they're all coming for the Panthers. They're all coming for the Panthers. Yes, they're in the hunting pack. They're the hunting pack. This is going to happen right about now. <laughs> and the Wildcat goes past. And there is the cat. Wilkes with it. Striding heavy looking like he's breathing heavy as well here comes charles Sound secondary school charles Sound secondary school newton newton is trying to lean forward newton is leaning in and lumbering forward now long strides by newton the lions with it charles Sound secondary now taking over the lead just about 300 meters remaining charles Sound secondary school lions with it newton still lumbering forward newton more of newton has just under 300 meters followed there by the wildcats trying to start trying to get some gas in that engine can't get so it's choking a bit of a choking there by the washington wildcats the washington archibald i start probably choking yes they're all in it a hunting pack but here goes newton of the charles on secondary school lions looking for another word and it's look like it's going to be newton newton is still driving now to the finish line really comfortable on this 800 meters down the straightaway for the final time newton of the charlestown secondary school this is gingerland coming back gingerland secondary school but charlestown with just about 50 meters to go charlestown secondary school lions with it newton will bring it home for the second goal for the charlestown secondary takes goal newton takes the goal there for the Charlestown uh, Secondary School, the team of Taylor, Farrell, Robinson, and Newton taking goal in this the 1600 meters medley here at the Kim Collins Stadium. So Charlestown, they would have won the girls and now they have won the boys. So probably that's where the strength lies, Mr. Mills. Well, certainly it is, and like we said, it's not over yet. No one could have gone with it. So okay, so we're going to stand by for another medal presentation, but before that, another disqualification in the 1600 meters on the 14 girls.